<clears throat> so I'm probably do it with smithing in this video after I ooh fire. Nice. I honestly like I wanna do an hour of fire making and see how many charms I get. Like it's kinda of funny, you know, training training fire making and gaining summon experience. I bet you I I would probably gain around I'm gonna say 10k uh, summoning an hour, I bet you. At least, probably. Like, I mean, I get a bunch of crimsons. I get blue sometimes. I bet you it's like 20k summoning an hour. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's a lot. Because summoning is honestly like 100k an hour if you actually train it. Which is nice. Oh, and by the way, those fire things, from what I know, I'm pretty sure, they, um, they come as many logs as you burn. Like, it doesn't matter how much fire making experience you get. So if you really wanna be, um, like, if you wanna get as much summoning experience as you can, you basically might as well just fire make normal logs if you want to get as much summoning experience as you can from getting 99 fire making or 200 mil, but that's kind of stupid, so. Yeah, I'm going to stick with use because they're cheap and they're really good experience. Still pretty sure these things are glitched though because these do not give you 273 experience, 284 with people around you from what I know as well. But yeah, anyways, um, topic of the day. Um, I met a Turkish guy today at the sauna. Um, he was looking at me and he was like, hey, well, okay, I first came in and he was just like, hey, I'm just like, hey, what's up? Um, and then he, fucking keyboard. Um, yeah, and then he just started like, so you, you know, Greek or something? I'm just like, oh, I'm Turkish. And he's just like, oh. And he says, um, Nusselson to me, which Nusselson, by the way, you guys learned some Turkish this video. Um, it means like, how are you kind of in Turkish? So I was just like, oh, I just told him, um, Aim, which is like I'm good, and right right off the bat, I told them I don't know I don't know that much Turkish though, so don't talk to me in Turkish because I don't know what the fuck you're gonna be telling me if you you could say I have the smallest penis, I'd just be like, uh huh, yeah, uh huh. You guys ever get that? Like, I mean, I like my family reunion kind of stuff. Not really like a reunion, but like you know, like when you have like a big dinner with family that came over from seas and shit overseas, um, for me Cyprus or Turkey, whatever, and they all talk Turkish um, in the house, and I'm sitting there like have no idea what the fuck they're saying. I'm like, I just want to go home and play RuneScape and make a video or something, but like, oh, it just sucks. And the one guy like he, you know, he doesn't know too much English. You don't know too much Turkish, so it's really weird. He's like, he's talking to me, and I'm just like, yeah. I look at my mom, just like, what the fuck did he say? And she's like, yeah, he said, I'm like, oh. And then I explained to him in English, and my mom's like, my mom's like a translator, for God's sake. For all I know, he could be saying, Alcan, you have a small penis? I'd just be like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. I just, I always just say yes whenever they talk to me in Turkish. I'm just like, yeah, uh-huh. Because most of the time, it's just like, hey, how are you doing? Are you doing good, Alcan? Yeah, uh-huh, I'm doing good, uh-huh. By the way, that's how you actually properly say my name. It's Alcan. Um... Most people, most of my friends just call me Alkin, Alkin, Al, Alien. No, they don't call me that. They call me Jerome, bitch. I can see a bunch of my friends that watched this video so far come to more of a school and be like, Hey, Alcon. But yeah, tomorrow is um, possibly my last game for rugby. If we win, we're, we keep going on. If we lose, it's over. Um, but tomorrow morning, we're actually um, we're having like a family breakfast at um, this one restaurant. Um, and our coach is paying. Oh my god, it's cool guy. It's like, it's a cheap breakfast, but it's... It's pretty, it's, an, it's a nice breakfast. I'm not saying it's cheap because, like, it's a good breakfast. I think if the, if the season ends tomorrow, I guess, um, we're going to go paintballing as well as a team sometime probably next week or so. Because um, this weekend, obviously, I'm going to uh, the cottage and people are busy. So Plus, Monday's actually off. That's why uh, we're going, well, it's May 2-4, I think, right? It's May 20, 20th, May 2-4. Yeah, I think it's May 2-4. Everyone go smoke their weed. I never used to have a, uh, in our high school, we have, like, hall monitors. I don't know if every high school has it, but we have, like, hall monitors and shit. Um, and I remember one of the hall monitors, he actually doesn't, uh, he doesn't work for our school anymore, but he actually smoked weed, and, um, uh, every time it was made 2 for he would, like, like, I, I don't know if he was, like, a crack dealer or something, but, like, I swear to God, he hung around just the kids that smoked weed. Like, he wouldn't talk to anyone else. He'd just be like, hey, what's up, guys? Smoking some weed lately? You, you leave me some or something? I'd be like... What the fuck? But um, he's a pretty cool guy. He's like 50 or 60 years old, for God's sake, and he's still still living strong. Not a boy. Ooh, we are about to hit 33 million smithing experience. Um, uh, 17 million experience to go. That's a long time. Holy shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure these rune legs are still... Um, well, these rune bars I bought for the same price as before, so still about 5 GP and XP, which is pretty cheap, I'd say. Although, I think Addy plates are actually pretty cheap, right? I think it's... You lose like 1k off a plate bite, so it's about 3 GP and XP for Addy Plate, so I don't know. Actually, this is almost double the price, holy shit. But in the last video, I asked a few people, or well, I made a video, I didn't put it out yet, but I'm gonna put it out tomorrow morning, um, and this won't be out after. Um, if people wanted to, uh. Okay, wait, wait, no. I, I put up the video already. 
Um, and I asked if a few people wanted to see some pictures of me, um, I guess in real life kind of thing, um, of me playing rugby and a few football pictures we have as well, I think. Like four or five only because I didn't really tag myself any of the football pictures. It wasn't a, it wasn't a great year. It was a pretty good year. Just, oh man, the, the year ended like the worst way possible. I mean, we lost in the semi... We were one game away from the championship game. I don't know exactly. What is that, semifinals? I mean, anyways, we lost by like a touchdown. Um, I've already mentioned this a long time ago. But anyways, um, and the game that we lost, like the last game that we lost, we lost because the lights went out early for some weird reason at the stadium that we were playing at. And um, the, pre the people that controlled those lights were on vacation somewhere in Europe. So... There was no way we could uh, contact them and tell them to put on the lights. I don't know how the fuck you'd have been put on the lights from if you're in a different freaking country. I mean, I don't know. There's like a special little button on them, like a remote control. Hey, put the lights on. Yeah, like this fucking works from Europe to Canada. Yeah, that shit fucking, holy crap. But yeah, the game ended with like, we were down by like less than a touchdown. And it was our ball. And we were about 30 or 40 yards from a touchdown. And yeah, that's probably like the worst feeling ever. Holy shit. Never heard of a game being shut down because of lights. <laughs> Fucking fuck my life. But anyways, I want to talk about these two little bitches that are on my rugby team. Um, they don't really know I make videos. I don't really care if they even find out because I will kick both of their asses. Um, they're twins and, and everything. Um, so one of my friends, right? Well, every one of my team is like my friend anyways. But um, the, my one main friend my age, he um, he's starting tomorrow in tomorrow's game. And um, these, one, these two twins, they play in the same position that he does. And uh, the coach told us the starting 15, there's 15 people on the field for rugby anyways. Um, and uh, they weren't in there and my friend was in there. And they went up to my friend at the practice. And nobody knew about this until like today when my friend told us when we went out, when we went out for lunch. Um, and he said that those two guys came up to him yesterday and said, Hey man, we would start before you, but we don't try and practice. Um, and I just, I couldn't believe they actually said it to him. Um, I think the whole team wanted to kick their ass after they found out that out. Um, but anyways... So, yeah, what's the I'd say? If, if someone did this on your team, what would you do to them? Um, and, like, obviously I'm a starter and everything, so, like, I'm kind of annoyed that people would try to do this, but this is the part where we're going to get to. Um, br the brothers actually told each other, hey, if we actually injure this person in tomorrow's practice, he won't be able to start tomorrow because he's hurt, which means one of us will start. Now, this is probably the most unsportsmanship I've ever seen. Um, I'd rather someone had punch someone else in the face during a rugby game rather than see someone say this. Um, and I, I couldn't believe when they actually said I wanted to literally pick them both up and just throw them against the pole or some shit. And it actually did happen in practice because we had like a little scrimmage. And um, it was only rapping, right? Because we're not trying to get hurt the day before a game. And the one fucking twin ended up like high tackling my friend that was running with the ball. Um, and he like bumped his head against the ground or something. Like he tackled him pretty hard and he hit the ground with his head. And yeah, he was out for about five minutes or so. And yeah, I just... Like, I, I can't believe someone's actually trying to do that. Sorry, I'm just leaning over to pick up my, my dildo. There we go. But yeah, I don't know. Like, What would you guys do if um, someone on your team was to do this? Now, I personally don't like those two twins. Um, they're not even that good at all. And I don't. they just have a big ego. They're from a different school. They just came here this year. And they're thinking, like, they're, you know, people come to school like, yeah, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. And you about to smell it. And then they're, they're not even good at rugby. It's like, what the fuck? I'm not going to lie. They have some good dangles. But they, like... They're the type of people that take the ball, run all the way across the field. Like, they basically just bring the field from the ball from the left side to the right side of the field, and they gain about three yards during that time. Like, it's like you didn't do anything but gain us three yards. Don't think you're good because you ran across the field taking one guy out. A lot of backs do that in rugby, if you guys know what backs are. They, I, don't, like, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. Like, you have three people behind you or four people. Why don't you just pass them? Instead, you run the other way. And you go completely dying all the field. And, like, you're not gaining any yards. You're just going, like, straight across the field. It's just so stupid. But, yeah, my friend's good to go. He's rested up. I made sure he got some rest today. I was like, hey, man, when you go home, get a nice rest because I, I want you to do good tomorrow. So he'll be playing tomorrow, thank God. And he better not get hurt. If he gets hurt, I don't even want any one of those twins to, put, to go on. I want, like, just, I want nobody on if, if he's not playing. On oh, my last video, I got someone to ask me in the comments below. I just remember this. Um, what is your favorite car? Now, I'm obviously 18 years old. I'm not really into... Okay, well, I'm into cars, but I obviously can't afford a nice car. Um, so, like, you know, my choice is very limited. Um, but if I were to buy a nice car, um, I'm going to have to go with probably the Dodge Charger. Um, let me show you guys a few pictures. I have it right here. Um, anyways, I just Google Dodge Charger. Um, let me see this one. This one looks really nice. This one right here. 
this is exactly what I want. Like the, the nice little red. Oh, that that looks sexy. I I think Dodge Charger is a sexy car. I, I don't know why. It, it feels like like you. I feel like if I was to drive it, I'd feel like a boss. Like I would. Look at this thing. It looks like it's about to fucking charge towards you and kill you. Yeah, that's why they called it the Charger. That's yeah. Anyways, I like the car a lot. I don't know why. And I think correct me if I'm wrong, but I think those are the cars they used in um the movie Fast Five when they're uh what are they um. Running away with the safe, basically, with the the big scene that cost them like a few billion dollars, for God's sake. Yeah, those two Dodge cars that um, the guys were in, those cars are real nice. I don't know why I like them, but they don't even look like anything fancy. They're just, they look normal, and they're just, I don't know, they just re remind me of myself, you know? They look so nice. But as if you watch this far, you're going to hear some nice news. Um, so obviously, um, this weekend, I really won't be at home, but um, I told my friend... I told him if he could bring his laptop and maybe we can go to like an internet cafe kind of thing because they have some over there. Um, and I'm going to try to see if I can, possibly can, um, upload like one or two videos during the weekend. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can put the video on a USB and I'll bring his laptop or my laptop, whichever one. And I'll try to connect it to the internet and I'll try to see if I can get on YouTube and upload the video. If not, obviously there won't be any videos this weekend. Um, my sister's uh, at university this weekend. She's like staying with her friends. So she won't be home at all. So nobody else can really upload any videos. But I, I will see if I can. If I can't, um, I guess I'm going to just watch some of the ones that you might have missed before. Because you know me, I shit out like 30 videos a day. One last thing I'm going to ask you guys before we uh, end here. Um, I don't know how to word this. Okay. Would you guys break the bro code? Let's just say if your friend was dating a hot chick, they broke up. After months and months of being together, you know they fucked like 10 times in a day before. Even if, let's just say she was turned on and she wanted you, or she wanted to date you even, would you do her? That That is the question. Would you do her? Would you break the bro code and do her? Or would you just be like, no, you've been with my friend, and I know how many times you got fucked, and... I don't want to disrespect them. So it comes down to bros before hoes. Now I know when people say bros before hoes, they go, yeah, yeah, bros first, bro first. And then once you actually put a hoe in front of the guy, it's like, oh, fuck that shit. I'm going with the hoe. But you have no idea how true that is, man. Like every time you say bros before hoes, and then you get the guys that say that, and they're like, oh, fuck that shit. I have a chance. I'm, I'm taking I'm going I'm getting laid tonight. But bro, we're supposed to go hang out tonight, do some... Uh, some paintball and nah, fuck that man, this chick's coming over, we're studying and I'm gonna study her body. Well, if you watch the whole video, it'd be nice if you guys wanna let me know, and if you guys also wanna give it a like, that'd be awesome too. Thanks for watching now, I'll see y'all tonight, once again. On, right, quick update, 48 point, almost 7 mil fire breaking, we're getting that shit to 50 mil, baby.